renewable energy, carbon footprint and general ecological thinking have been slow to permeate the dance music economy, but an increasing number of DJs, clubs, festivals and charities are pushing for change. This first study in our new On Film series looks at the environmental impact of club culture and suggests ways the damage can be offset. Aided by globalization and cheap air travel, dance music has never been so accessible. This has shifted aspirations towards regular touring as the pinnacle of a DJ's career, shunning long-term residencies in favor of building fan bases across the world. But what are the costs of this global outlook? Take a DJ who regularly topped RA's annual DJ poll. A carbon calculator of their schedule for only March of 2018 shows that they generated around three metric tons of CO2 flying economy. The figure triples for business and quadruples for first class. Averaged across the year, their flights alone generate a similar carbon footprint per month as the average UK inhabitant in a year. If a DJ travels with a tour manager, this amount doubles. These figures are not unique, with many touring DJs aiming for two or three international gigs a weekend. Beyond underground music, the results can be even worse. U2, a band outspoken in their ecological thinking, have been found to generate the same carbon footprint in a 44-date world tour as a return flight to Mars. But these statistics are meant to illuminate, not cast judgement. A balance can be struck though. Free Rotation is among a small but growing list of festivals with environmentalism at its core. It deeply troubles us that we are part of the problem, says co-founder Stevio. Under the current conditions, all we can do is compensate for our flying. Websites like carbonfootprint.com allow you to calculate your journey's impact while providing ways you can pay to offset it. Some major airlines also give this as an option at the checkout. Free Rotation's method is to contribute to environmentally conscious charities like the Size of Wales, who protect rainforests and facilitate tree planting. For Free Rotation, the cost of long-distance air travel becomes central to its curation. The first thing we can do is book less foreign artists and concentrate on homegrown talent. They also have a policy of not booking artists flying long haul without having a minimum of three other EU gigs. Meadows in the Mountains is another leading the way. Founder Benjamin Sass believes that all international festivals should look hard at their impact. This year, they're focusing on their local effect by burning standard plastic glitter. Only biodegradable glitter will be found at Meadows in an attempt to protect the pristine Bulgarian mountains that give the festival much of its appeal. Individual DJs are also pushing a conscientious approach. Hessel Audio and Hemlock producer Joe avoids flying where possible and writes environmental suggestions into his hospitality rider. I try to keep ecological matters in mind in most aspects of my life, he says. Since his 2009 debut, Joe has only flown twice for gigs, Tokyo in 2011 and Berlin in 2014. But these ecological choices have their drawbacks. I'll earn less in the same amount of time as my peers, he concedes but as long as it's enough to live, that's okay. While many venues are taking small steps, Birmingham's Suki 10C are one of a few who have achieved complete sustainability when they switched to 100% wind-generated power five years ago. Obviously it's more expensive, co-founder Kitty says, but it's important that we're not using fossil fuels. With the help of waste recycling company First Mile, they have also achieved a 100% recycle rate on their waste produce. The solution to this global problem also requires an organised international response. DJs for Climate Action is a collective set up by Brooklynite Sammy Bananas, encouraging DJs to raise awareness and provoke action on climate issues. They have struck a chord with a number of DJs, including Soul Clap, who try to avoid unnecessary flying through longer set times in their hometown. Focusing more on throwing regular parties at local spaces helps us be part of our community says Soul Clap's Eli Goldstein. It's important to make an impact locally. That's how you can really facilitate positive change. As well as holding regular carbon offset drives, DJs for Climate Action work with CO2 Logic to create a series of parties called Earth Night. Falling on the 21st of April, the day before Earth Day, its focus is on climate justice, 
raising money for climate conscious projects in the developing world. We aim to redistribute wealth from the countries causing the problems to those most susceptible to the effects, says Sami. More broadly, each party empowers clubs and DJs to enforce change and is an opportunity to educate attendees about the responsibility to larger issues. This can be done with a gesture of any size. One example which has started to pick up momentum in venues around the UK is replacing plastic straws with paper. Over time, this small change will create a snowball effect where individuals want to learn more and engage. Herein lies an important point, that a small step creates a catalyst for conversation, debate and further action. Writing an environmental clause in your contract may not mean much on paper, but it affects how a promoter curates their party and in turn influences their dances after the lights come up. The dance music community has always been quick to respond to social problems, especially those concerning marginalised participants. The issue of climate change, however, transcends social classification and threatens humankind at large. It's time for this to be recognised, discussed and engaged with in a way that befits its urgency.